Welcome to my channel. Now I know that most of the nail salons are closed because of everything that's going on. So I'm hoping that this video can offer you guys an alternative to getting your nails done until the nail salons open back up. So if you're interested in learning how to apply these press on nails and make them last a long time, just keep watching. Guys, I have never been a fan of press-on nails until now. Like, I used to always think they were kind of like cheesy and corny, but <laughs> these times call for drastic measures. So, um, and especially if you have, especially if there's like a design that's like really cute and it doesn't even look like press-on nails, then that's the go-to. So when I saw that matte maroon color, y'all, I absolutely fell in love with it. So what I'm doing here is matching the shape of my nail with the shape of the press-on nails. Um, my nails are naturally squared and the press-on nails were more like an oval or round type of shape. So when I was trying the press-on nails, uh, my nails were like poking out the sides of the press-on nails and it was not cute. So um, I'm just trimming off the corners of my nails so that it'll blend in with the press-on nails. Now this step is optional, you don't have to shape and file your nails um, and of course it depends on what type of press on nails you have so you don't have to file or shape your nails. However, I like my natural nails to look you know, well groomed as you can see my nails look pretty beat up from all the fillings and acrylic nails that I've had in the past so um, I kind of wanted to take this time to you know, give my nails some TLC. So there's only three steps for application based off what's on the box, but this step right here is very, very important. This will um, allow your press on nails to last a little bit longer than what it will normally last. What I'm doing here is buffing out the surface of my natural nail and that's just removing that oil layer that's on the nail and it's also smoothing out my nails. So um, from my past fillings and acrylics, when they drill my nails at the salon, you know, it leaves that like, you know, indentation in the nail. So doing this part, it just smooths out the nail. It removes that oil layer that's on the nail. That way, when you apply the nail glue, it adheres to the nail. It adheres to your nails and the nail glue like better versus having that oil layer on your nails and then putting glue on it and then applying the press on nail you still have like that layer of oil that's not allowing the press on nails and your natural nails to stick so doing this step is like really important and as i was buffing my nails out i don't know if you guys saw but i was also pushing my cuticles back um i actually forgot to cut them off that's what i plan to do i plan to like push them back and cut them off before i apply the nails but i literally got halfway into doing this and realized i forgot to cut my cuticles off what in the world so um but now you can you can do that using a cuticle pusher and they have like different little you know tools and gadgets that you can use for that but i ain't feel like doing all that you could kill two birds with one stone so i use the filer to buff my nails out and push the cuticles back at the same time So here I'm just applying the press on nails as you can see. So I did apply some glue on the uh, um, artificial nail and on my natural nail and I held the press on nail for about 20 to 30 seconds to make sure that it was um, pretty much stuck to my nails. Now the box came with about 24 nails so um, you know if you're using this brand and like you make a mistake or whatever you have extra nails to like you know work with 
And if you ever want to do this again, I mean, this box came with 24 nails. So that's about two sets right there. So once I pop these off, I could just put the next set on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this really came in handy, y'all. So like I said before, I absolutely fell in love with that maroon color when I first saw it. But honey, that shape, no ma'am, no ma'am. So a little later in the video, I am I am going to reshape the nail to my liking. I'm definitely not feeling this oval shape. It's kind of giving me grandma vibes right now. No shade to my grandmas out there. I love y'all. But that is not my style. So you guys are going to see me shape this up really cute, really nice to my liking. And that's what I really like about these nails. Like now that I finally got to work with them, it's easy to shape because the nail is like really thin. So it's not like an acrylic nail where it's like really thick because of that powder and like the layers of powder and the beads that they're applying on your nail. Because the press on nail is so thin, it's really easy to shape and manipulate. literally is quick it's easy y'all it's definitely a go-to during these times don't knock it because it's um you can't even tell like even now i'm wearing them and i'm just looking at my hand like you cannot even tell that these are press on nails these really look like a full set of some matte acrylic nails like For this look, I wanted to go with the coffin um, shape. Now, these nails are a little short, so um, which was fine. Like, I, I actually like the short coffin look. Like, when the nails are too long, you know, it's, it's too much. I gotta type, I gotta do homework and do stuff. It's just a lot to do um, when the nails are a lot longer. So the, the length was perfect, the shape was perfect. Um, now, of course, I am right-handed, so you know the left hand came out bomb, y'all. But the right hand, it came out cute, but not as cute as the, my left hand. Like, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to, like, my hair and my nails. Like, I, you know, like it to look even and consistent. So, you know, I was, I kept having to do my right hand. Like, I didn't really do it a lot. I just kept having to, like, reshape it so that it can be even with my, um with my left hand but I'm right-handed so it's whatever y'all can't even tell if I ain't just say that y'all will y'all can't even notice it but it's whatever um but yeah I'm just shaping it I absolutely love this color y'all so if you guys try if this is your first time trying on press on nails please comment below if you tried it before comment below um if you're like not into it but you know after seeing this video you're like hey maybe i want to try it because all these salons are closed and you know it's this corona stuff going around who knows when i can get my nails done again so if you end up trying it guys please let me know like comment below um post a picture or something so, um, yeah, this is the new way for right now. Just for right now, it's temporary. It's not permanent. But it can be a permanent thing. It's very cost effective. That box literally cost less than $3. The nail glue was a couple of dollars. The fight, like, it was like, I think all that was like under $10. For real, for real. So, it's definitely cost effective. It's definitely not time consuming. And it all came out cute. So that's it guys. Thank you all so much for watching and tuning in. Hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to like, share, and thumbs up this video. Thank you guys. 